Greetings, Great Witch here. So we are in Rhodes, about to pick up a new bounty. So let's head over to the board, see what we can pick up. Yeah. See who, which kind of rascal we're going to round up today. Yeah. Anyway. Alright, I think I've already done that one. Hmm. This is the most recent photograph of Julius Feathers, wanted for assaulting. Eh, he's just wanted for assault with a knife. Let's see what this guy wants. Found guilty of murder of his daughter's betrothed. Hmm, this is a real baddie. Let's go after this guy. Alright, so this dude killed his daughter's fiance. What a dick. Alright, well, what's going on? You know, I've been noticing that this is happening a lot with missions, especially with the traitor mission. It just cuts off for some reason and then loads back in. Has anyone else been experiencing this, or is it just my system that's going to crap? I have no idea. Okay, so this guy is going to be on the run. That's what it means when you get this little symbol. And something else I want to know, why is it the little mushroom guy from Mario that happens to be the symbol? Is that what the symbol is? Because couldn't we just like have like a little red skull or something, or I don't know. Because that's if that's what that's supposed to be, it doesn't look like that. It looks like a mushroom. Just throwing it out there. Alright, so let's jump on these railroad tracks. Let's cut out some time. Since these roads are just going to be all wandering. First, let's see where we got to go. Let's make sure I'm not going the wrong way all crazy-like. Alright, so he's not really too far away. But I guarantee you there's going to be people traveling with him. If we stay on the tracks, we ought to be able to do this pretty quick. Shouldn't be too bad. And the tracks will save you a bunch of time. You just gotta be careful though, because the train, for some reason in this game, can sneak up on you a lot faster than it ever did to me on Brett in uh, GTA Online. I mean, I got hit by the train a bunch of times in GTA Online, but in this game, it's ridiculous. I mean, more so in story mode than online, because I, you know, learned my lessons. But still, watch out for the train because it will kill your horse quick. Man, this road just wanders all over. If you watch this mini-mac, then you just see the how the road cuts back and forth around the railroad tracks. It just takes so much longer actually using the roads. I need to actually plot these out a lot better. Because I rely on the, the GPS way too much. I need to just quit using it and just learn the map. That's what I eventually did in GTA Online, but then again I went back to using them all the time for missions, so I don't know. It'd be one of those things. Alright, should be getting close up here to where I can cut over. Somewhere in here. Ooh. I'm glad I was paying attention. Some of these bridges don't look like they're bridges until you get right up on them. Alright, now I should be able to cut up. I shouldn't be too far away from here. So the weapons I'm using now is the repeating shotgun, the Springfield, and the volcanic pistol. Those are the ones I've pretty much gone with. They're going to be my ones for doing bounties. Oh, everybody's right here. I'm already up here. Ah, I did save some time. So let's pull out the Springfield. Let's take out these stragglers in the back. Um, um, good job. Let's get Stop shooting. Oh, I shot his hat off. Let's shoot my horse, man. And bring him, that way he can't get going too fast. This guy. And I'm glad they were carrying those things. That wasn't too fast. He's down. Cool. Lasso time. Oop, I think I missed him with that. Nope, got him right around the Help neck. Me. Awesome. Anybody? That's awesome. No, nope, nobody's coming to help you. Get You're a murderer, hell. man. You killed your daughter's fiance. What in the hell? That's just, it's just horrible. Uh, for the love of God, hell! No one's coming to help you. Yeah. Oh shit! The damn idiot. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's get you on the horse before everybody starts showing up. Now here they come. Come on, load him on the horse. What is going on? Oh, these guys are right on top of me. Oh, thanks, Bluka. 
great. My horse just jumped. Got those guys. Luckily, they come right back to me. I didn't think the guy was going to stay on the horse. I thought he was going to dump it. That's pretty cool, though. That's good to know. So maybe you can load the guy on there, make him flee, and then fight the guys off and then call the horse back. Hmm. Don't you run That's away from me! But anyway, we got this guy. Now we got to do is take him to Valentine. We're not too far from there. About halfway. Somewhere in there. I know there'll be some more guys coming up. Hopefully, I can outrun them. See, just stick with these railroad tracks. Pretty much what I did the whole time. Got from one town to the other town real quick. Yep, here come the other guys. Yeah, I remember that there was a a mission you had to do in story mode where you had to run ride from Van Horn all the way to Blackwater. You had to use the railroad tracks to do it. That was a pain in the butt, but I got it after about the third or fourth time. But you gotta be right on the money. And you had to follow a couple of little extra little roads. It was a hard one to get. But like in story mode right now, I think I'm at a 98%. I still have like a couple of little things that I have to find. Aw oh, man, the train's in the way. That's typical. 98% on my second time in story mode. Well, the first actual time. The second time I played through, I just... I played evil, so... I didn't do everything that I did the first time. I will get 100% eventually. You can run right, hell. we are right up here. We can drop this guy off. Get paid. I didn't take no time at all. So I wonder how the pay works. Do you get paid for finishing them faster or for taking longer, like you do in GTA missions? Don't know. I do know one thing. You never want to carry a person like this if this person that you're carrying is not a friend. Because I have a scar on my back from where I got bit. Yeah, you don't want to do that. If you're carrying an enemy, you don't want to do that. It's all there for you. Oh yeah, I'm sure it is. All what? Ten bucks. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. So we are going to stop this right here, and I shall see you next time. All right. Well, this is Grey Witch. Peace.